What is up guys, my name is Grandor and welcome to another building tutorial video. Today we are gonna build this medieval monastery. Truth. I know it might look big but it's not really that hard to build and I didn't do much detail, de detailing there so it should be built pretty fast so let's hop into it. Alright guys, so first the blocks we're gonna use. It's cobblestone, then andesite, then some stone for the walls, uh, some stone bricks for the columns and some stone brick stairs and walls. And for the roof we're gonna go with uh, some dark oaks and dark oaks, dark oak stuff. And with the blue terracotta filling and for the windows we're gonna use a black stained glass pane. So let's check out the layout first and you can maybe pause the video so you can prepare it properly and you can see all the all the parameters and now let's start with the walls so first we can start with the uh, tallest tallest tower here and we're gonna go uh, in some stages with the wall so it looks like it looks more gradient uh, so we're gonna start with cobblestone, then we're gonna add the andesite on top of that and on top of that we're gonna finish it with stone. And this middle part, this middle wall is gonna have, uh, it's going to be 27 blocks high. So let's, let's build it up. And you can go maybe like 8 blocks or 7 blocks, 7 blocks cobblestone then, or maybe 8 blocks cobblestone, then let's go 8 blocks side and then we can top it up with a stone so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven and that should be 27 blocks yeah cool so let's let's fill it in okay once we have that done we can go to the main side as well so it should be this here and this over here the inner inner circle or inner part and this will be 15 blocks high so we can again go like five blocks cobblestone five blocks andesite and five blocks stone nice and later on we're gonna we're gonna like uh, connect it together so it looks nicer but we'll, we're gonna do that uh, all in one so let's build up the walls first let's go all right as the main part is done then we can go continue to the corridors to these parts here and this and this to this point it's gonna be seven blocks high so again we can go like three blocks cobblestone Three blocks underside and one block with stone and let's go all over the all over the side all right and now this is quite faster guys with the word edit <laughs> when you don't have to manually build all the walls but if you're doing that in survival i think it's gonna take some time so just be patient and don't worry it's not that hard so it's just you know building the walls <laughs> And now with this part, with this little second tower, uh, we are gonna raise it uh, 13 blocks high. So again, we can go maybe one, two, three, four, or maybe five, then four and four stone. And let's fill it in. All right, now moving to this part, to this little corridor over here, connecting these two. Uh, we're gonna raise it four blocks high so we can go just two cobblestone and two andesite and that's it and let's fill it in to the other side and here in the middle let's just go all the way around with andesite and then later on we'll place uh, we'll place our andesite walls on top of it uh, like so Okay, that's great and let's move to this part here 
In this part, we're gonna raise again four blocks high. So we can go two blocks cobblestone and two blocks on the side, and let's connect it to the other side. So see you on the other side. <laughs> And now from this side, two blocks on the side. So let's again connect it to the other side. All right, like so. That's perfect. So let's go to this side. And this part over here is going to be 10 blocks high. So we can go maybe four blocks cobblestone, three blocks on the side and three blocks stone like this. And let's go. Okay, perfect. And now this side, it's going to be six blocks high. So let's go two cobble, two on the side and two stone, like so. Okay, perfect. We have a rough structure <laughs> with the walls. And now we can move to the, to the roofs and let's work on them. So let's take the blocks. Okay, and now it's pretty simple. We are gonna, it's gonna just add on top of the wall like this and go always one block higher till we are in the middle. So like this. And on the, on the end of the walls, we're gonna use this pattern like this and close it with the dark oak, st dark oak stairs so like so no what's mm -hmm. wrong here oh yeah nothing it's good okay it's my bad <laughs> okay great like so and let's put one here like this maybe like this yeah it's better this way okay and now we're gonna fill the blue terracotta to the other parts or to the end of the roof and here we're gonna go with the same pattern as on the other side so let's go like this I'm not sure now uh, one two okay one more and here like okay we can go like this here and now let's fill the terracotta all the way to the other side perfect and now we're gonna take a dark oak slab and fill the fill the roof to the other side over here and on the other side as well like so and we can just fill it here with the stone quickly yeah. okay so now basically where the black wool is there will be a column there will be a brickstone column and above it there will be like a like a roof line with made with uh, dark oak stairs so we're gonna go like this and on top of it, we're gonna put a dark oak trapdoor. And let's copy it. There should be a five block gap everywhere. Okay, and. Yeah, and there's gonna be a six block gap. So it's one longer, one more longer. But it doesn't matter. and dark oak trapdoors on top of it and it should look like that wonderful let's do it on the other side as well on this side of the roof all right and again we fill this wall right here uh, yeah. Just upside down stairs over here and fill it in with the stone like so perfect 
and now we can do this side so it's the same pattern basically everywhere so like this and let's fill it in all the way around and now the same thing let's put dark upstairs here here and there and let's put it here like that and over here as well on the other side the same thing one two and three and dark oak slabs right here and on the other side as well and now let's make a one two three four five space gap let's put one stair next gap is gonna be four blocks long so like that and the third one should be at five blocks again so five four and five and let's do the same thing as we did on the previous roofs and like so and it's starting to look nice <laughs> Let's move to this side as well. It's again the same thing. So it's gonna be on top of the stone. There, there's gonna be a blue terracotta. One more layer here, one more here, two here, and one in the middle on top of it. And let's go again like this. We can spill it in here and on it's connecting where it's connecting to the wall there's gonna be the stairs again so dark oak slabs dark oak slabs here okay like this perfect okay one on top of it some upside down stairs as well and that's it for this side and let's fill it in with the stone again okay perfect now let's do the main main part shall we and it's basically this one is pretty easy it's basically the same it's just bigger so it's gonna take a while so let's fill it in to the other side and now again the same pattern so connect it to the wall with the with the stairs let's prolong it with the slabs here and on the end let's put our stairs again like so don't forget the upside down stairs all the way to the top okay let's go down here and the slabs and now again let's make the let's make the roofing there so it's gonna be there it's gonna be here with the five blocks yeah and one two three four and five so another one is here and there should be six blocks thanks to the outer line here because it's if it would be there it would be five but now it's six but it doesn't matter it looks all the same and uh, dark oak trapdoor on top of it okay perfect and let's go over here so we're gonna go basically the same like this let's go over here and here we're gonna just follow the stone parts all the way around so like that and again we do the same thing and let's follow the outline and let's always destroy our helping block there and last few layers what well, not there okay and the last one over here like that and now we again connect the stairs to the wall here like so now let's connect it to the other side with the slabs all the way around and now again where the columns will be there will be a stairs part again so here and here and now let's put the trapdoor here 
and let's put two trapdoors over here and let's go from the middle with the stairs as well so it connects nicely and put one there and it should look like that and i think it it looks nice there like this all right perfect maybe we can yeah let's go for these ones here and then we will go do the small ones so here we're gonna do basically the same so we're gonna follow the stone part and we're gonna connect it to the main wall over there so nothing nothing complicated like this and now again we're gonna go here to connect it to the wall like so let's put our slabs like this with the gap there in the in the corners and now let's go just in the middle here with the stairs like this and let's put trap doors there on top of it like so and let's move to the smaller one here and it's gonna be a typical roof pattern so it's gonna go like this and on the sides let's go with the stairs again and don't forget the upside downs as well and there will be a column so it will connect to the column and we can place one in the middle as well like this okay cool oh yeah and let's fill all the gaps that remained with the stone okay now let's move to this one here and let's just go again simple pattern like so and let's connect it to the other side and let's just follow the other side there okay let's connect it again by the line so just one block everywhere okay the same thing with the next layer And the top layer we're gonna just extend to the wall so it's gonna be somewhere longer and somewhere shorter but it doesn't matter okay wonderful now let's connect to the wall with the stairs like this and let's prolong it to the other side with the slabs here like so wonderful and now the stairs again on this side as well and some upside down stairs like so and let's put the stone right there okay and now there will be again columns so let's go with the let's copy the style on the upper roof there and let's go with the same style here as well so like this and yeah here the same thing here in the middle the same thing again and on the other side as well so okay now the big boy over here so let's start with the terracotta again let's follow the stone path okay like so and now in the in the corners Let's put our uh, dark oak planks there. One, two, and on top of it, we're gonna go with the slabs like this. And let's fill it in with the terracotta again, like so. And now let's go three blocks here and one block on top of it. And let's on this side, let's put two blocks gap and then five blocks of terracotta and three blocks on top of it and let's do the same thing on the other side as well nice now we put in the corners again the dark oak planks again two of them and again on top of it the slabs like this and now we can fill the gaps with the terracotta like so yeah we can just fill it in so we have so it's so we have it easier to put it on there we're gonna go 
one block higher and one more higher here in the middle and on this side we're gonna go one block higher on these five blocks and then one block higher on these three blocks so let's do the same thing everywhere like so okay that's perfect and now again let's put our planks in the corners again two of them like so and again the slabs <laughs> and now let's go with the terracotta here one two terracotta over here uh, we're gonna go yeah like this and then we're gonna put one two and three one two and three and one and one here now we're gonna fill the middle part like this and we're gonna go one two three four and five not five my mistake okay in the middle and now we're gonna destroy these two and put the planks there and the stairs on top of it and now the planks on top of the terracotta this should be our roof pattern for over here and let's go with the stairs like this in the corners again and then connect it with the flats like so perfect and we have again a rough structure with the roofs on top of it so that's cool that's great all right and now before we continue let's jump into the walls and into the texturing uh, we're gonna like fade the parts the stages into into each other so it looks more realistic so let's just go ahead and again don't overthink it just do it as you feel it and we're gonna go with the cobble fading into the underside and as well underside fading into cobble so it's it's going from the both ways let's see here as well we can go all around like so we one more here so let's go like this okay maybe one more here like that and now let's fade underside into stone now as well here as well so maybe like this maybe here as well okay perfect and just small parts here since it's just one block of stone okay maybe like that and now again we fade stone in front of the side as well perfect and here again as well oh. okay brilliant and let's do it just everywhere guys so let's go all right since it's textured everywhere as you can see guys I think it looks better this way it adds more life to it let's continue with the columns now so basically uh, we just uh, raise the columns everywhere where the black wool is not in the middle there it's gonna be a little a little tricky or not tricky but just a little complicated there so let's just go with the outer columns everywhere and let's leave the middle ones for the end okay here we're gonna raise the first one as well and then the second one as well to the top like this and let's first begin let's grab a underside wall let's destroy two blocks in the middle and let's raise two blocks with the wall and let's continue everywhere here and basically we're gonna go always with one block gap and 
one wall till we reach the end. Okay, perfect. And on top of it, we're gonna go with the slabs, yes, like this. Cool. And here we join it there. And let's just prolong it everywhere to the other side. And this will be the garden area over here where they can relax in their area of the monastery. So let's go with the columns. So we have column here. So there should be a five block depth. One, two, three, four and five. And there should be a column here. So we don't put a column here. But there's gonna be one, two, three, four, and five gaps. And there's gonna be a column here. And let's put it like that. Nice. Okay, it's basically underneath the roof part, so not nothing hard counting, right? Okay. And here it's gonna go it's gonna go here on to, to the top. And one, two, three, four, and five, yeah, and the second one will be here as well like on the other side and we can do the same here one two one two three four and five so here will be the another column like this and here we're gonna go with the column to the top and yeah and we're gonna raise it to the top there okay so here we put the put the stair anyway and now again let's go one two three four and five and stone brick stair there another one here and another one here and one two three four and five and another one here and basically raise it or go down okay good now let's go raise this one here as well to the top this one as well nice these ones okay perfect Okay, good. Okay, now one, two, three, and five. I think we're gonna destroy this one here. Yep, so it looks like it goes from the bottom. Yeah, destroy this here. Now we go all the way to the bottom. So now yeah, it's gonna be like this. And another one should be uh, here like so okay perfect and now let's continue here so another one should be here then here and here uh, and let's go one more down here yep like that cool and on the other side we do the same thing and three is gonna be here i guess or no we don't put it here and we go just like Okay, and now with this long tower, we're gonna take the stone brick wall and we're gonna replace the corners with the wall. And all the way down. Okay, perfect. I think all the columns are done. So we can move to the windows. So let's start with the with the corridors here, the smaller ones. And now let's go basically uh, one block above from the roof, uh, underneath the roof. And then we're gonna go three blocks for the windows. And uh, we do two on every every part here. So and same here with the same height. So one to three and one to three. Now let's do the same thing here. And here as well. Nope. Okay. And now in the middle part here, we're gonna go with three blocks long windows like this. Like horizontally. And on this side as well. So like this. Perfect. And as we are already here, so let's go to the main wall right over there. And let's destroy again one block underneath or one block gap and one block underneath the roof. And let's go all the way down to the bottom. 
and again one block space and uh, above the this roof and then let's destroy these parts and let's fill it in with the with the glass like so great because as you know churches at like these big windows so we have to make them as well okay good and now moving to this window here or this wall here let's go again one from the top and one two three four and five and one more i guess okay so we have one more like this like this perfect let's move to this ones here and it's basically the same again so one two three four and five to the bottom one two three and all the bats there flying i think there must be a huge load of them <laughs> okay like so perfect and here we're gonna go with the same type of window and same over here oh. okay great and let's move to the bottom part here and it's pretty simple as well because we're gonna go just with the two block high windows now it's gonna be two blocks space now three blocks and now again the same thing so two blocks gap three blocks gap and two blocks like this and here we're gonna go like this so two block gap window one block gap window and two blocks gap again and just like on the other side we're gonna do the same thing here okay that's great now the main tower here so let's go with three blocks high window over here let's make two blocks gap there and two blocks high windows right there like this and let's do the same thing on the other side and here as well let's fill it in with the windows with four windows actually one four and on the other side as well <laughs> now let's make a little youth circle in here so two blocks gap and let's make a well not like that but like that okay like this and now again two blocks gap and let's make a bigger window over here with seven blocks i guess uh, yeah seven that's the proper number <laughs> sorry okay good and now moving to this here this little building over here so let's go one two one two and again two blocks gap and one two three one two three so let's make two three high windows right over here like this okay great the same over here like this and here we're gonna do the simple three blocks high windows like this and nothing on the sides so like that okay and moving to the main part here so let's make the space for our main door so let's destroy five blocks here three blocks are or let's go four blocks high because there will be some stairs there and three blocks here and let's grab ourselves a cobblestone stairs and let's put them right there this and some cobblestone slab in the middle like so okay that's gonna be our our door area and let's go it should be above this part so one two and on the third block we're gonna go with three uh, blocks high window then like this and then above the middle one we're gonna go two blocks gap and then one two three four and five blocks we're gonna destroy and we're gonna make again like a circle here i hate placing these small windows <laughs> okay now i think we can start putting our a little lightning to this building so it's uh, lighten up during the night 
So let's get the stone brick wall and some chain and a lantern. And now let's go one stone bricks here, here and chain like this. So we have our door lightened up. Now here we put oh not there. Yeah there. No. Okay. I made a mistake there. Door should be one more one block higher. So it should be like this. Now here like this. Uh, yep. It should be one block there. One more block here. And this part is like this. So, yeah. Sorry for the inconvenience, guys. Okay, now it's... Now it makes sense. Like this. Great. Okay, so let's continue. Let's put our chains over here. This. Great. And now let's put our stone bricks like this in every corner of this part and chain on on the bottom of it and then we put our lanterns great and we're gonna copy it all around the corridors here so like this we can put one over here one over here one here one here chains okay the rate mate like this and again let's continue here like so perfect and here to this side we're gonna go again with the with the walls and with the chains connecting to the walls okay like this and just like the corridors we're gonna do the same thing over here like so great and now the big tower here we're gonna go underneath the roof here and put our walls there and again chains and let's connect the lanterns to it Whoop. okay and here underneath the windows we're gonna go again with the walls and chains like so great and on the other side we're gonna go one more wall here with the chains like so perfect and as we are already on this side so let's finish this side here okay now let's put it over here as well oh we didn't do a wall or the column here that was a mistake so like this okay perfect okay wonderful and let's go here and again some chains like this so let's go there here there and there and here and here like so great and now again the same thing i know it's kind of boring but that's what we must do like so here as well and here as well like that perfect and now yeah let's put our let's put our stone here like so there is this column there and again the light there and now we're gonna put our lightning to the bottom parts as well but only here and to the to the sides here and here like so great here we're gonna put some as well and let's finish it like this over here all right i think all is lightened up yep let's make the final touches here with the grass blocks that we cover with dark oak trapdoors and then we put some 
flowers on top of it. So let's go ahead and fill it all in here as well on the other side of the corridor and on this side as well. Okay, like so. And I see we forgot to do the windows over here. So let's grab our undesired and cobblestone stairs and let's put our windows here. So yeah, and we need some walls and let's put our walls into the corners like here, like this. And now let's go two blocks gap. Now let's make four blocks space, I guess. Yep. Now again, oh no. So I think it's like this. <laughs> Sorry guys, my bad. Two blocks, yeah, two blocks here looks here and yeah now it should fit properly uh, yeah <laughs> small mistakes okay and now we fill it with the with the stairs like that and we just make a small little windows there like so wonderful okay guys so I think this is the finished build I think it doesn't look bad at all. I'm quite happy how it turned out. And now we can hop into the survival and see how does it look with all the details done and some more some more green added and how it looks just in a in like more real realistic world. So let's go. And finally here we are guys. So let's take a tour, shall we? So first we have this big entrance where we edit just the simple doors and the trap doors around and here we have the flowers and I did like meadows here or I don't know like there is a lot of flowers some trees there and here I wanted to build like a wine, wine yard for the for the monastery for the monks and as well as the beehives because some of them might be the beekeepers so they have like a little farms over here and they have some place to focus and you know to meditate and stuff so we have some barrels to storage our wine as well as here here is a little river with a little little bridge over the river and there are there are all the bees here and sitting on the flowers and enjoying life. Okay, so let's get back here in the front. And I haven't done uh, inside yet. I just started like simply there. Okay, I like to I like to have some like books and uh, bookshelves here with the with the yeah with the lecterns. Uh, so you know they have the monks have the space to study and since they are studying is all they do and you know writing or rewriting stuff and so it should all be here here I wanted to make because there is the vineyard so I wanted to make some you know wine storage and something they can uh, they can like process the wine and here I, I would like to make some like big slopes, big, big columns. So it's like proper entrance with uh, some big, uh, big chandelier. Uh, and here I wanted to make like the beekeeper's home or house, where, you know, where he keeps all the stuff for the bees and for the, for the honey and everything. And there is, okay, let's go here. So this is their garden. I think it looks really nice. You know, they can just they have some water here to water the flowers, some lightning, and they can again just you know concentrate here. And there are in the back there are entrances to these side of corridors. Yeah, so here is the space for the visitors. You know, when they go to the they, when they go to the mass, if I say it correctly, you know, where they all pray and there is the main monk and everything. So, 
and I wanted to make like there would be some entrance through here and this will be like the second floor you know where the but so we can have a use of the window so it's not like connected to the other wall but just like this so it's like a little overhang and there I'd like to close it and here will would be another one but like bigger one and there would be the stairs to the other floor of the tower and again I haven't really decided what should be here so maybe guys let me know down in the comments what should I build in those parts and again there is again empty area here so maybe this would be like the back office the <laughs> back uh, stuff room for the monks you know when they have the mass here so they would have some things for them there again maybe some books some lecterns and stuff so so please let me let me know down below in the comments and if you'd like me to uh, build the interior as well like properly and maybe showcase it on the video as well and if you've got any tips for the rooms then i would be grateful for that and that would be all from the video guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you're gonna build it in your in your world somewhere. I will be glad. But I know this is a bigger build, but I think it wasn't that hard, so definitely let me know. And also don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. We are already uh, slowly reaching 250 subscribers, which is amazing number. I never thought we would uh, reach such a number, so it's uh, huge for me and i still cannot believe it so thank you so much for that guys and that's all for me and see you in the next one bye